Love. You're here with MMA, MayhemRadio.com, and I'm here with Scott the Bear Barrett. Scott, that was an impressive win. You used your takedowns, you used your ground and pound. Uh, walk us through a little bit of uh, your camp and just kind of what you did to prepare for this fight. Well, my camp really took two phases for me to get here. First is that Tyrone Spawn. He fought World Series of Fighting, his second pro MMA fight. That was about two weeks ago. A week ago, Alex Overeem fought. Uh, it was a, a loss, but I mean, he still put a hard camp in. But those uh, six to eight weeks leading up to those fights, I helped Tyrone get ready for his fight with a wrestling aspect. And I helped Alex get ready for his fight with the wrestling aspect of it. And then in the mornings, I trained with all the Black Zillions, uh, Tiago Silva, Matt Metro, and all those guys. Coached by Kenny Monday, Henry Hoop. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of those guys, man. So helping those guys get ready for their fight while I'm getting ready for my fight and training with the rest of the Black Zillions. I was ready to fight anybody tonight. Now, I know you're an experienced veteran. You've been here, you've been there. Uh, tell us a few places that you fought and just, uh, um, the experience you're bringing into the cage here. Man, uh, in Georgia, I started up at the Wild Bills fight nights. So I did a bunch of those. And then I got signed by Bellator. I fought for Bellator for two fights. Then I fought for the XFC for two fights. Now I'm just trying to find a good home, a good place to fight that I can get on a good contract three or four fights put together, maybe get some big wins and get some big, big shows. Um, as far as your opponent goes, was there any moment in the fight that you were worried? Because you seemed pretty confident. You seemed overwhelming. You set your takedowns up perfect. Your single legs, your double legs. It was, it was perfect, technical as it could possibly be. So. Well, man, we come out, we touch gloves, we exchange a little bit. He threw the heaviest inside leg kick I have felt. He caught me right on my knee, opened me up. I saw that. And I was that. like, well, let's go to the ground. <laughs> so as soon as I felt that, because there was some power behind it. As soon as I felt that, man, I took him to the ground. And uh, I tried to finish here and there, but honestly, not being in the cage in over a year, I just wanted to grind a little bit. So I gave him a little bit of elbows, a little bit of fist, and then uh, I felt him quit. At the end of the first round, he, you know, I let him up a little bit, took him back down, let him climb the cage, took him back down, and he didn't want anything to do with that wrestling, man. I well, felt him start, his wheel started to break, so I was ready to get out of there. Well, it was an impressive performance. Your experience showed in the, in the cage. Uh, congratulations on your win. Uh, Chaz Walton here. Check us out at uh, MMA Mayhem Radio on Twitter. Follow us.